Please join me in welcoming Nancy Dubuque, the CEO and President of a and &E Networks. Nancy. Thanks for coming. You have this independent company. You're owned by Disney and Hearst, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's not Disney proper. And no, we're fully independent when it comes exactly. to distribution. Yeah. So my point being that th this is when they're talking about, uh, when John Landgraf talk, talk, talks about of, um, of, F of FX, who was here uh, two years ago, when he recently talks about there being too much content out there and that there's going to be uh, players that struggle with that, he's talking probably more about your company than his own in a sense, in fact, he specifically said, I don't think this is gonna be a problem for us. What, what do you say to that? How do, you, how do you look at that? I agree with it for brands that haven't, that aren't as powerful as John's and mine and others. So okay. I think that there are a lot of networks out there that are relatively young and they're in the scripted business and to try and you know, generate the audiences that you need, at least on the scripted side, and not be known for, you know, whether it be movies or unscripted as well, to create the economic engine, mm -hmm. to not have the scale that some of these smaller networks have and be in the scripted business is really challenging. And so I think when you look out at that, a lot of us, you know, scratch our heads and say, how are they affording that? You know, mm -hmm. we know and we understand the monetization of that. So my hunch, and I haven't talked to John directly about it, but it's more pointed at, at that. Do you agree, and you agree that some cable channels are just gonna have to fall away? You know, I, look, there, I do. I think that over time, some are gonna have to fall away. I don't know who that is and how that works itself out. You know, do, we've been you, very judicious about, you know, making sure that we're not too many channels and that we're focused on the ones that we believe in. Mm -hmm. You know, we have six and three are really big and one we've converted from bio to FYI, which has had an incredible story this year. Would you credit um, what Netflix and Amazon have been doing with um, part of what's motivating you to be investing in something this ambitious? No, I mean, I think, look, we, you know, we were the home of Hatfields and McCoys and that was in mm -hmm. 2012, I think. Um, you know, we have ambition in, in all of our content and I think, you know, what we look at is, you know, there are unique titles and are unique properties that elevate themselves to something like this and Hatfields did with Bill Paxton and Kevin Costner and we're always looking for those opportunities and there's a lot of competition out there for those comp opportunities yeah. so you have to find them early and you have to find them fast and you have to nurture them. I mean, the Hatfield script was had been on everyone's desk for 20 years. Um, and it was, you know, our slow burn of rewriting and rewriting and rewriting. Um, and then of course, attracting Kevin that got that to air. And I think it goes to my point earlier where, you know, the creative properties need time and the big ones need, need that extra love and that extra patience and, and sometimes the extra money. But it's not always the, the sort of biggest production budget that speaks to quality. I mean, I think quality for me is uniqueness, something that's genuinely original, something that no one's tried before, something that um, could possibly even be um, shining the appropriate voice on an issue and using television at its greatest moment when it can, can bring attention to a much needed issue. I mean, on the different ends of the spectrum for us, I would say intervention is a massive um, you know, quality play for us and it was a polarizing show when we did it and now it's an Emmy award winning show. Um, and then last year, you know, Married at First Sight was a very buzzy breakout for mm -hmm. FYI. Um, so it's not always money and, and I think you know, for me it's managing not only the portfolio of brands that we have inside the company, the distinct networks, but it's also managing the portfolio of the kind of programming that we do. And I think that's a real benefit for us because we're not just one strain. So when everyone was saying, you know, scripted is dead, we had reality and now everyone's saying reality is dead and we have scripted in movies. And the audiences move around and there is a creative cycle to this business. Mm -hmm.